Hey, I want to show you how you can use OpenStack with Coder to offer developers VM-based developer environments that run on your OpenStack. So I'm actually starting here in the OpenMetal dashboard. OpenMetal is a managed OpenStack provider that makes it really easy to get up and going with OpenStack. So from here, I can launch Horizon, which is the typical OpenStack dashboard. And a user in Horizon can go into instances, um, go ahead and, and launch an instance, and they're given a wizard where they're given lots of different options. However, if you're a front-end developer and just need access to a workspace, you might not necessarily care about or even know about things like security groups and, and ingress. So that's where Coder comes in. Coder is a friendly interface that lets developers provision a workspace and get into their IDE and start coding. So here I've created a template for OpenStack where a developer can go in, click Create Workspace, and they're given a much friendlier form. So I can go ahead and give the workspace a name, and in this case, I'm only prompted with one parameter, which is what are you going to be using this workspace for? Is it SRE slash ops or web development? From here, I'll create a workspace and you'll see that this is Terraform logs. This is the magic of Coder, which is you can provision workspaces on any infrastructure using Terraform. The developer doesn't have to write the Terraform code or manage any of the OpenStack specifics. They just go in and fill out the form, but an admin can write Terraform code that has essentially all of the um, requirements for the OpenStack instance. For example, what security group should it be on? What flavor will it be? And, and things like that. So while I'm actually waiting for this VM to come up and running, to go up and running, I can go into OpenStack, um, close this out, and I'll just refresh the page here. And we can actually see that the workspace is being provisioned here. It was created zero minutes ago. And it has all of the um, information already set. It has a flavor, RAM, but the developer didn't really have to, to pick that. I'm also going to show you inside the coder template how this works under the hood. So I'll go into the OpenStack one. As an admin, I have access to this edit files button where I can actually see the OpenStack or the Terraform code for this um, in here. This shows the two different um, parameters, and it shows how the web development use case maps to a specific click flavor and a specific image. If you need a different security groups, you could also put it here. And then if we go down into OpenStack Compute Instance, we can see those things being passed directly into the Terraform. There's other things that are hard-coded. For example, both use cases have a specific volume, but if I wanted, I could go into the Terraform and, and change that. Now the workspace is finally connected, meaning the, the coder agent has started on the OpenStack instance. And I can click the VS Code desktop button to get right into my editor. Instead of this opening my local VS Code desktop, you can see here that it's establishing an SSH connection into the workspace. I don't have to manage SSH keys or even have any ports open on the OpenStack instance. This is all being forwarded through the coder dashboard using this coder extension here to create a tunnel. So, as you can see now, I have a terminal up in my workspace, and if I type uname, you can see that this is clearly a Linux workspace. Um, you can see the kernel here, and here you can see that it's Ubuntu, which maps to the flavor.